Remember the video in which I was discovering the weirdest eyebrows ever? In today's video, I decided to dive deeper into the weird trends subject with the weird makeup trends. So in front of me, I have a list of 10 weird makeup trends that we're going to discover together because I haven't seen them yet. So let's not wait any longer and let's dive right in. So I'm making a reaction video on makeup with no makeup on yeah I know <laughs> but I'm pretty sure in some cases you might feel like better be barefaced than wearing some of those just my opinion okay number one gorilla nose makeup sounds promising where people draw a dark line down the center of their nose to create the illusion of a wider Flatter nose. Oh, gorilla nose makeup. Here is a picture that I could find when typing gorilla nose makeup on Google. I don't know if it was because it's only supposed to be for that kind of makeup or if it was a trend to look good, but honestly, at this point, I can't find an image showing something else than pure gorilla's makeup so kind of makes more sense like this but i kind of feel like it was not supposed to be only to look like a, a real gorilla might be wrong okay so the first one was simply hard to get next the next one is the reverse smoky eye makeup I've never seen this before, but I kind of feel like it's going to make you look like you have huge dark circles under your eyes, or maybe I got it wrong and it was reversed, like, let's see. Where the darkest shade is applied on the inner corner of the eye instead of the outer corner, which is exactly what I was feeling like. It's reversed in this way, not in this way. Do I feel more confident into this trend? I don't know, but let's see. But it kind of helps. I mean, you don't want to look tired when you're doing makeup, so I don't know, let's see. Well, when seeing this, I kind of feel like I was right when I said it was reversed in this way. So the one that I just showed you is not the best in my opinion, because some of them actually look good, like, what do you think? Actually, we also have the other version that is here and it does not look bad neither. Okay, weird but not bad. I won't feel more talented with this. Next, third one. So the next one is clown contouring makeup. I hate clowns. Sounds great. Why would I want to look like a clown? where bright colors are used to contour the face in unusual ways to create a clown-like appearance. Why would you want to look like a clown? Clown contouring, let's see. What? It actually looked good, look. Of course, it's a contouring, not actual makeup so what was i thinking when i see clown i freaked out and i was like there's no way i want to look like a clown but the idea is not that bad actually so the name comes from what you look like before blending everything out because let's be honest you do look like a clown before but then the magic happens and you look good you don't look like a clown anymore okay okay weird but good once again Next, okay, fine, I don't know how to pronounce it, but geode lips or geode lips, don't know. Where lips are painted with a mixture of metallic and iridescent shades to create a textured gemstone-like effect. Sounds crazy, but let's see. Geode, 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 geode lips <laughs> change the name it's too hard for me <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it Ooh. <laughs> this one is uh, not as promising as the previous ones guys here it is 
Have you ever dreamed of kissing a gemstone? Now your dream can come true. I mean, it does look like an actual gemstone. It looks great, it's super well realized, but who wants their lips to look like this? Not me. Mm. Okay, this one is weird and not amazing. We found the first one that is not convincing me. <laughs> Next one, Dragon Eyebrows Makeup. Sounds like a makeup you would wear if you don't want to look nice. Let's see. Where the eyebrows are styled to resemble the scales of the dragon. <laughs> I don't feel this one. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Why? So I have a bunch of different images for this one. I don't know which one. I kind of like this one here is the one that would apply the best to the description. But I found other weird eyebrows that I don't know if they are dragon eyebrows, but they're weird anyway. Like, no. You can be very playful with your makeup in general. But sometimes you need to stop at some point and being like, okay, this is a little bit too weird. We started with good looking weird trends and I kind of feel like we are now on the other side. Let's see the next one. Rainbow freckles makeup. Freckles are cute, but I don't know. It sounds pretty obvious to figure out what it can be, but let's make sure I understood things correctly and let's see what it is. A rainbow colored dots are drawn on the cheeks and nose to create the appearance of freckles. I understood it correctly. Now I'm scared. <laughs> so here it is. I don't know what you think about it, but I kind of feel like it takes off all the cuteness of the freckles. We tend to think that rainbow equal cute, but no, sometimes it's just too much. Freckles are cute, but in this case, it does not look natural and so it takes off the cuteness of the freckles. Can't wait to discover the next one. Full freckles makeup sounds better. Where people use eyeliner or brow pencil to draw fake freckles on their face. I know this one and I like this one. I think it looks cute. Look, it's better, right? To all the girls or the boys who are feeling ugly because they have natural freckles on their cute face, you're not. It's super cute. People love your freckles. I personally think it's super cute. I do have freckles, but on one of my shoulders and not the other one. Don't know why. Decided to be weird. From A to D, back to the cute stuff. So let's see how the next one is going to be. Glitter tears and makeup. Sounds depressing. Be cute while being depressed. Where glitter is applied under the eye to create the appearance of tears. Here it is. I genuinely don't know what to think about it. <laughs> While I think glitter is gorgeous, having like fake tears on your face all day long, it can look cool for a makeup you do for fun, but on an everyday basis, bubble nails makeup. Okay, I was not expecting nails to be involved in this video, but that's cool. Where nails are painted to look like bubbles. I've seen a nail art trend that I don't really like, which is cartoonish nails. It's just my personal tastes, but I don't like it at all. And when I see this, I don't know if I should feel more confident about this one. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> you have so many different options with this one. I don't know which one they were talking about, but you have the bubble nails, which look like dragon scales. You have a bubble nail that look like your nails are surrounded by a bubble. And you have this thing that is so not great in my opinion where you feel like your bubbles are in the marshmallows. 
I really don't get this trend. Let's hope the last weird trend will be better than this one. Feather eyebrows, okay. <laughs> I kind of feel like every time you're trying to change something on your eyebrows, like being a little bit too creative, it's looking ugly. From my small experience on seeing things and trends here on the internet, where eyebrow hairs are brushed upwards and styled to look like feathers. It's the same concept as dragon eyebrows, so feather eyebrows. Yep, as I thought. Here it is. You need a lot of eyebrows to be able to do that because you need to split your eyebrows in two. <laughs> I don't feel like I could do that if I wanted to. But I don't want to, so that's okay. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it brought a smile on your face. And I hope maybe it inspired you for some of those trends. Choose wisely. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, everything. Thank you so much for your support, for your precious feedback. Love you so, so much. Bye.